Hey, we're at Eureka Camping Center and uh, super excited to be back here with our friend Bill, the expert in all things camping. I don't know if you can see all this stuff around us, but you name it, they've got it for camping. Today we're going to be talking about tents and Bill, tell us about this tent that you've pulled out for us. Well, what we have here is a Eureka Copper Canyon family tent. This is a six person box frame style tent, lots of headspace in it. Uh, extremely easy to uh, pitch, just a very easy tent to use, very, very family friendly. And we're going to give you a little bit of a demonstration on how to get this thing up quickly. I think it's going to be amazing, like, look how compact it is now, and then when we're done, to see how big it is and how much room uh, people have. Like seven foot tall, is That's that what amazing. you said? Yes. Amazing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right, so let's give it a go. Okay, so we've already pre assembled a couple of pieces here. These are all in storage bags. You slide everything out and unroll it. Your frame pieces, two poles for the roof, four poles for the side. You don't have to sort them. All Eureka tents, shot corded. No sorting out of the parts. So begin by opening up your package, laying out your poles, taking a little bit of an inventory, and then we are ready to begin getting this thing into the upright position. And Bill, I think that we should have Glenn help you with this because he is the, um, the, the, least experienced camper among us. The newer person. And I the think newbie. it could be You're kind on. of comical. Okay. All right. Okay. We, want, we want to get this fabric out nice and flat first. We're going to start with our tent body. It's kind of like, uh, it looks like you're trying to unfold a sheet almost. A little bit. Like a fitted sheet. Okay, the webbing is what we want. Pull that corner right out flat. Perfect. <laughs> now we're doing good. We're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. This is a big a tent. There's a lot of fabric here. <laughs> I, think I, I think I found it. Nope. Okay. Oh, We're going to begin with a roof. A like this. We, we build this tent from the top down. Just the opposite of building a house. Roof poles first. They are going to slide through the tunnels in a crisscross pattern. And if you want to guide that into the opposite piece over there, Glenn. We will now take the short commercial break. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and at the corner you will find a plastic elbow. Insert that rod into that plastic elbow. That's one. And now we don't want a dish, we want a dome, ah. just like so. We are now ready to install the side poles. This tent uses what's called a ring and pin method. Every pole has a small cap with a hole in the bottom. That is the lower end. The top end of the pole, no cap. That's going to insert into the elbows at the corners. So we're just going to insert the bare metal end in there. And then if you get a hold of the webbing at the bottom, you'll find a, the pin. Okay. Force that up. And we set the pin in the hole of the bottom of the pole. And it will be tight. Get that pin set like so. Oh my goodness. Bam. Just like that. Muscle up. 
Two more legs and the ten is upright. <laughs> And we just lift it right up. Always a good practice to take a couple of runs in the backyard. Make sure that you get familiar with your equipment before you get into the campground. Okay, let's turn this a little bit so everybody can see it. Okay. Now with the frame erected, we're going to complete the installation of the clips. This helps to keep the fabric on the frame, helps reduce wind stress, and will give you the most amount of space inside of the tent. The tent is ready for the rain cover. Now, rain covers are designed to keep moisture from entering the mesh on the ceiling of the tent. And the mesh is here for ventilation purposes. So we really need this skin over the top. Uh, this allows for airflow at the same time keeping you and your equipment in the tent dry. So to get this thing going, we're just gonna grab two of these corners and walk it right up over the top. The rain fly secures to the tent using Velcro. Usually on the underside, this is going to wrap around the frame. This will keep the rain fly from blowing away in the wind. And this also helps to keep the rain fly in proper alignment with the tent frame underneath. So two pieces of Velcro in every corner. The tent is ready to be anchored, and this is critical. You want to make sure your tent doesn't blow away like a tumbleweed, and we also want to stabilize this tent. So even if we have it anchored at the ground level, we're going to do some work to stabilize this structure above ground level. Now on the rug, we got to use hooks, but every Eureka tent will come with a supply of the stakes so that you can anchor this sufficiently uh, in the campground. So Glenn, if you would, piece of Velcro, a uh, hook into each of these fabric loops. Okay, with the corner anchored, now we can fasten the shock cord of the lower end of the rain fly to the D-ring. This will keep this last little tab of fabric in place securely. So that's to the plastic D-ring. And that's the basic setup of a Copper Canyon family tent. Uh, this is now fully upright. It is a riddle, it's ready for any additional guy lines or anchor points. Tents with very upright sides, you need to be mindful of wind. Uh, even moderate wind can cause this structure to wobble. So tents always have a, a line fastened to the tent. In this case, they store in pockets. You just pull this out and extend the line out at a 45 degree angle and it will anchor out here with an additional stake. Now what this line has done for us, the tent is very wiggly. Until these lines are secured, that solidifies the structure. You will get much better performance of this tent in all weather conditions by using those guy lines. Um, they are so important with a tent of this sort that they are already supplied. They are fastened to the tent. Uh, make sure that you use these. And that is a Copper Canyon six-person family tent. Mm -hmm.